Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bonner here, Overtime Athletes. So wanted to make a quick video for you guys as I got a question. Um, a lot of the guys obviously were coming off quarantine and a lot of guys are going to uh, you know, play their season. It's about to be in season, whether they're going into camp, they're preparing themselves. Um, and I wanted to make a quick video as far as in season performance and uh, a couple different parameters that we discuss, um, depending on your sport and what level you're at, uh, some, some simple general overview rules for in-season performance. Um, usually what I perform in season, now obviously, like I said, it depends on the individual athlete. If you're an athlete at an elite level, uh, this kind of more goes for you. If you're an athlete at a smaller level, this can go for you. But let's say, for instance, you're somebody who doesn't have, get that much playing time. I might, you, you might be on a little bit more off season protocols to continue to elevate your performance. But from a broad perspective, this goes for most. Um, you're going to perform, essentially, we perform four days of uh, a week of training. It consists of two days lifting two days of uh, more mobilization, um, activation, active recovery, things that are gonna support the body continue to be healthy uh, and maintain a high level of, of flexibility, uh, mobility throughout the, in, throughout the season. Um, those two lifting days and, and the two mobility recovery days are going to be consist of total body. So each day we go inside the weight room or uh, you know it's gonna be uh, total body. Um, the goal here, is to have a level of maintenance, right? So if you think about in an off season, for most of my guys, they have you know anywhere from three to six months, three to four months, five months, you know, depending on the actual season. I know the virus threw everything through a loop, but uh, you know we start from a, a certain phase and we're building up to a certain peak. Now, when that athlete goes ahead and leaves and they're in peak shape, right, or peak performance. Our goal as, uh, you know, for an in-season program is to eliminate a decline, right? And that's the biggest thing I try to teach guys is you've built all this up through the off-season and you're good for game one, two, and you have all that new accumulated power that you've been able to do. You're brushed up, you're conditioned, everything like that. You know, our goal is by game 10 not to be down here, right? So we don't want to eliminate training altogether. What we want to be able to do is have that level of maintenance. Now, if you're at an elite level, the goal is maintenance. If you're not at an elite level, I've seen guys who are able to continuously increase. That means their level of training and conditioning um, or physical preparedness is extremely low. So as they go through in season, you'll see incremental increases in their actual performance, in their strength, in their power output, things of that nature. And these are typically your younger athletes. Um, as far as uh, you know, programming goes, there really is no periodization as far as addressing the tempos, the rep scheme, things of that nature. We want to maintain a low level of volume. We want to have a higher level of intensity, but not enough where it overstimulates the nervous system and doesn't keep the athlete fresh for their actual competition. Because remember, competition is the highest priority, which is your game, right? <clears throat> practice, right? And then comes your overall maintenance of your actual performance. Now, I tell guys, not only do we want to uh, have a higher level and maintain the same power output that we did, you know, game one that we have mid-season, and not just for that, but the biggest thing that guys don't realize is in-season training is going to reduce the amount of injuries. It's gonna keep you healthy throughout the season. So it's extremely important that you're maintaining that level of strength and still being able to get those repetitions in, even if it's a lower volume. I know it's tough, I know the, the timing isn't most opportune, but that's why it's important for you to conduct yourself as an elite level athlete and build your day out around making sure that you're hitting essentially those days of lifting. Now again, certain athletes are gonna have you know, different periods, uh, uh, you know, camp might slow you down a little bit or you might have required lifting um, in your, in your, you know, kind of preseason training camp. Um, so, it, you know, things can change, but if you build off these parameters when you're actually in competition setting, um, you can continue to maintain your power output throughout the entire season. 
Uh, I'm ranting now, so I'll go ahead and stop. I hope this helps. I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.